Right now, Knox County's ambulance provider says it is taking several steps to improve service following yesterday's shortage of units. Those steps include working with local hospitals to speed up patient transfers from ambulances and for so-called lower level calls delivering patients to the ER and moving that patient to a cot when it's appropriate. They say that should help free up ambulances to carry on with additional calls. Well, yesterday, the County Emergency Operations Center operated for about four hours to address heavy calls and a shortage of ambulances. Our team spent the day working to get answers for you about yesterday's emergency. We spoke to county leaders and those in charge of ambulance services about how they are working to prevent this from happening again. AMR says they have 50 total ambulances, but not enough workers to staff them. On average, AMR says they have 15 to 18 ambulances working during peak times. Yesterday, there were 14 trucks running. AMR said it received a high number of calls in a short amount of time, some with multiple patients, and that is why AMR says they could not respond to patients quickly. 10 News reporter Krista Lucas is in the newsroom now, and Krista, you spoke to AMR today, and they tell you money is a problem as well. Robin, AMR says money is just one of the challenges. They want to remind people it's important to understand that care is coming, that transport to the hospital may be delayed, but the paramedics are coming when you call 911. AMR says when Knox County gets really busy these days, there aren't enough ambulances to handle demand. There's more calls than there are resources available at times. The regional director says staffing is one of the problems. We don't need more ambulances. We need more staff in the ambulances that we have, right? Another challenge is money. Right now, pay starts at $20 an hour and goes up depending on tenure. If it was up to me, we would pay people $100,000 an hour, right, just to get the coverage we need. Uh, unfortunately, you know, that's, that's not feasible in the, current, in the current industry. Knoxville Fire Department says this is not a new problem. It is a national problem. We have a couple of issues. Number one, we've got a paramedic shortage in the United States. We have an EMT shortage in the United States. Um, we have a nursing shortage in the hospitals in the United States. A spokesperson with KFD says the department is buying its first ambulance and it should arrive within the next two weeks. KFD says it will respond to fires, hazmat calls, bomb threats and more, alleviating the need for an AMR ambulance in those situations. The KFD ambulance will not be staffed 24-7. Robin. All right, Krista, thank you very much for that information. Now, county officials say they can't promise in the short term that a shortage won't happen again. The Knox County Public Safety Director tells 10 News by coincidence, yesterday's emergency happened on the final day future ambulance providers could submit a bid to serve in Knox County. 10 News reporter Ryan Connors spoke with him today. Ryan. Robin, the Knox County Mayor's Office says yesterday's first responders saw an increase in emergency calls and a shortage of available ambulances, all happening as the contract for the county's ambulance services comes up for bid. Knox County EMS saw a high number of emergency calls Tuesday, resulting in a rare partial activation of the Emergency Operations Center. But yesterday, a lot of those calls were this person needs to be transported to an emergency department, needs to be seen by a doctor in a relatively short amount of time. Uh, so those number of calls yesterday were unusual in that short amount of time. The county says it's relying on some area partners for ambulance services while dealing with the shortage. And say, hey, do you have any medic units available to send to us so we can try to alleviate the current situation? And they were graciously able to send, you know, if it was just one unit, that was an incredible uh, give for us to be able to do that. AMR's contract with Knox County is in its final months. Other ambulance services have bids to replace it. The county is expected to make a decision in the coming weeks. They say they'll be looking at future needs when picking a long-term partner. You know, the demand for our EMS and the stress on the EMS service and the fire service in the city and county just continues to rise with the population growth. They say they also have to acknowledge staffing at hospitals also results in slowdowns to get patients moved from the ambulance to check-in. We, we all deserve better, um, regardless of who the, the contractor is. You know, when you pick up the phone, you call 911, you expect somebody to be there pretty quick. The public safety director also says that the county is proud of how first responders and emergency units handled the high-stress situation 
and say that they provided a high level of care and emergency action throughout the emergency. Robin. Ryan Connors on the story for us. Ryan, thank you.